that tonight will be filled with uh, a lot of emotion and maybe some pain and probably most definitely some pleasure. If you've read any of his books, you'd know that uh, you're going to probably hear some of those things tonight. So uh, we have a lot of amazing uh, musicians. We want to welcome you. We want to thank the uh, American Indian uh, Community Housing Organization for hosting this event and putting it on again. Uh, my name is Phil Howes, and uh, I want to thank Al for asking me to come out and, and post this. And I also want to thank him for uh, allowing me to pay my bills for the last five years uh, because uh, I have his former job, and I always want to remind him of that. <laughs> and I want to thank him for it as well. So, um, but again, thank you for coming out tonight. We're going to uh, get things started here with uh, on one of our guest musicians. Uh, Miss Larissa DeRogier. in heaven by Blue Rodeo and I hope you enjoy it. Come down 
Thank you again for coming out tonight for the book launch of uh, Beautiful Razor, the third book on uh, Kegedon's Press by Al Hunter. His first book, Spirit Horses, and his second book of poems, uh, The Recklessness of Love, uh, are also published under Kegedon's Press. I uh, just wanted to share a few things here uh, written about, about Al uh, on, his, on the back of uh, Beautiful Razor. It says here, in this fluid collection, we enter a galactic expanse where absence, distance, and fire repel and attract love bodies in a winged whirl of magnetic mad flight. Loss, emptiness, space, desire, blood, memory, all devour themselves in the combustions of love without self. The you slash other may be interchangeable, never static or frozen or attainable. In these sharp-beaked bird worlds, there is no going back. At best, bodies meet only flame to flame, mutable and razor-like in feathery, impermanent forms. I find Hunter's new work a rare melding of blues, Kabbalah, and personal transcendence, a piercing, hard-won, angelic love mantra, a blazing tour de force by Juan Felipe Herrera. Richard Wagami says, such generosity of spirit deserves a claim, a bravura work. It looks like here the, the band is here. <laughs> Al's got the band back together. <laughs> it's definitely going to be a good night. So um, without saying anything more, again, welcome. Thank you for coming out and spending the evening with a beautiful razor. Hopefully no one gets cut too bad and uh, quite possibly maybe... Some of times we'll get cut where we need to be cut. Uh, let's give a round of applause, Al Hunter. Thanks for coming out. And uh, thank you to the American Indian housing uh, folks uh, for providing the space and organizing everything. Tonight is, uh, we just wing it. So, and uh, we prefer it that way. 
I want to uh, once again thank Bill House and uh, thank you all for showing up tonight. I'm always surprised that people actually show up to these things. Uh, but I'm happy that you that you do. in middle age may we someday return to our healing to the embrace of hummingbirds and horses to the shelter of stars and 
constellations. May we be guided, you, a woman, I, a man, back to our place of souls, back to where we belong. It was my mistake. It was my mistake to think that we could return to the shores that we once loved. It was my mistake to think that we could return to the streams that once tangled and rolled. It was my mistake to think that we could return to the river that once roared with love. It was my mistake to think that we could return to find the stones that we left behind. It was my mistake to think that we could return to the coves that kept our secrets. It was my mistake to think that we could return to yesterday's skies that reflected in water. It was my mistake to think that we could return to light the fire that had grown cold. It was my mistake to think that we could return to find flowers that grew in winter. It was my mistake to think that we could return to the miles already gone. It was my mistake to think